So if you're wondering how to convert any one of your photos into an SVG file, also known as a vector file, then the only thing we have to do is let's just go over, pull up your favorite browser, and let's type in svgconverter.app, and you will land at this screen right here. Okay. So only thing you have to do now is get started. But before we do, let's go ahead and give a brief understanding of this AI here or this user interface. Okay, so right here on the left hand side, top left, we have the upload image, the single column, the fit to original and our edit photo button here. Then we have details, which I usually use between medium and high background transparency. We have the color there, grayscale, black and white edges. You do have smoothness, curve fitting, layer type, and white lines. Okay. Now, if you go further down, you could check out the file format, which is AI, SVG, EPS, and PDF. And that is it. So let's just go ahead and get started. So let's upload an image, pull up an image here. And we'll go ahead and convert our little frog here. He seems angry about something. Maybe he didn't get any bugs for supper. Okay, so now the only thing we have to do is choose our details here. Let's just go with high. And we're going to do this in color for this one. So we'll keep it at SVG. SVG, EPS, basically the same thing. Smaller files and very, very, very scalable. Okay, so let's just go ahead and hit vectorize. And that's it. Okay, so you pull in here. So the difference really the main difference between a vector file or a pixelated image like PNG, JPEG, etc., is the fact that one is very, very, very scalable. So if we scaled up right here, you could see the more we upscale here, it tends to be blocky and more pixelated, but a vector file will never lose any type of quality there. Okay. Let me show you the functions of these. Uh, buttons right here that I had mentioned earlier. So let's pull back. Now, if we go over here and we only wanted to see one of the images, we can click single column. That'll pull it up right here. Put that back. And so if we zoomed in like so, and if we wanted to center it or put it back to basically a zero, we can just hit fit to original like so. Now, when you're editing, let's just say you wanted to grab, you was somewhere on the canvas and you just pulled up like so, but you wanted to see the feet. So what you would do is, let's just start back. You would put your cursor right here toward whichever area you wanted to focus on and then just zoom in like that. Wherever you are on the canvas, it allows you to do, uh, to do exactly the area that you wanted. See? And that's it. Now, the only thing you'd have to do is head down to download, click on download, and there you have your SVG file or any one of these file formats here, AI, EPS, PDF. Okay. All right. I think that would do it for this video. Links are always down in the box for any information you needed to know. And like always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.